Hello YouTube, this is a guy that knows it all 88 and uh, I am making a video on how to bypass the 10 nest chip. Uh, as many of you may have already known through research that uh, a very common method of disabling the chip is by breaking the uh, fourth pin off of the 10 nest chip. Um, but uh, I wanted to present another option because if you're anything like myself, mutilating your console in such a fashion isn't really uh, something you feel comfortable with doing. Um, yeah, this will be a, another way you can do it, which I believe is a lot more foolproof in terms. If you, if you make a mistake, you can easily reverse it and correct it. Um, anyway, uh, there's very little information about this model line, and that thus the reason why I'm making this video. So I, I will keep this short and simple. Um, this is actually a photo that I took offline, and I figured uh, uh, this would be a really good way just to show you so you know what points need to be soldered. So uh, let's get down to it. Uh, as a, a note ahead of these, uh, well, these points that you'll be soldering, you, you're going to want to add some solder to these points uh, before you actually solder the wires down. Uh, to uh, make them better uh, uh, adhere to the board. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up, bring that up. So basically, all you'll be doing is you'll be taking one wire, soldering one end to this point here, and depending on how your motherboard is set up, if it's set up like this, or you have this trace here and this trace here, you'll solder the other end to either of these two points, whichever you prefer. Um, and if your board, if you if your board does not look like this, it will look something, you will have a trace here that looks like this, but it would be mirrored, so it would be going, basically it would be, you won't have these two points, and these three points here would be connected with a trace. And in that instance, the other end of that wire will be soldered to either any of these three points. Um, and next what you will do is you'll get an, another wire and solder to this point right here on the board. And in some boards this point is shifted a little bit to the right. All you need to remember is that it's a part of this trace right here. And technically, yes, you could solder to any of these points, but this is probably the best point to do since it's kind of it's a larger point. And the other end of that wire will be soldered to any of the three points on this trace. Once you've done that, it should look something like this, which this is actually a board that I did, um, and uh, you should have no problems. You should be good to go. Alright, thank you for watching, and as always, uh, feel free to comment.